The Gatsby one. The Don't Tread on Me. Okay. Which is the Gatsby one. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah, it has nothing to do with slavery. That's like the Revolutionary War patch that was okay. displayed when they were fighting the British. Okay, I, so... Okay. I am, just here to enforce, no, I am here to enforce the policy that was provided okay. by the district okay. and definitely you have every right to not agree with it. I Here's an interesting story uh, coming out of Colorado Springs. Shout out to Colorado Springs. This is a tw uh, meet uh, 12 year old Jaden who was kicked out of class yesterday in Colorado Springs for having a Gadsden flag patch. Yes, I hear everyone furiously typing flag, F-L-A-Y-G. I hear you. I understand. This is my voice. I grew up where I grew up. That said, which the school then claims has origins in slavery. This is in fact the first time I've ever heard that. I have never heard that before. The school's director said via email that the patch was, quote, disruptive to the classroom environment. Here's the email. Ms. Rodriguez, as discussed, I'm providing you with the rationale for determining that the Gadsden flag is considered an unacceptable symbol. First case, when the EEOC required the complaint to be reviewed, of course, they quote a Washington Post article tied to the Confederate flag and other white supremacy groups, including quotations, patriot groups. Wait till you see the, wait till you see the video. Wait till you see the patch too. It's so disruptive. Yeah, the, 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 the director then argued, by the way, this thread is by Connor Boyack. Shout out to Connor. The director then argued that the flag is associated with hate groups. Linking to this weak article that cites a graphic design scholar who claimed that, quote, some, some may now see the Gadsden flag as a symbol of intolerance and hate or even racism. By the way, I do... I do view my Gadsden flag as intolerance. I am intolerant of the government infringing upon my rights. I am intolerant of other citizens infringing upon my rights. It flies on my 60 foot, the maximum size the county would allow flagpole, just below my 12 foot American flag. Okay. Uh, there is absolutely nothing racist about that flag or its symbiology uh what it is <clears throat> is uh you see here um decision by the navy in 2016 not to wear or fly the flag anymore these are like from the conversation.com essentially patriots like will fly this flag and then they're seen as you know if you if you're patriotic then you are an evil person you know, how far be it. Um, they'll they're gonna have fifteen different pride flags in that in that classroom though. They're gonna have, they're gonna have pride flags in every classroom. They're gonna have it in the cafeteria. They're gonna they're gonna fly it above the American flag on the flagpole in front of the school, but can't have a Gadsden flag. We truly hope to have Jaden back in school tomorrow to resume his normal school. They kicked him out of school. But that will require this patch to be removed from his backpack. Oh, man, if this is my kid, I'd remove the patch and then just buy him a shirt with it on. And then when they made him change his shirt, I would send him to school with the Gadsden flag on his shoes. And then when they, did, when they had a problem with that, I'd send him with customized Gadsden flag shoes. And then when they whined about that, I would get a Gadsden flag temporary tattoo. And use that as a lesson to teach my son that authoritarianism is wrong. And that's why we enjoy this particular flag. Now, if it was a pride flag, we know that the, the kid would have been elevated to 
uh, supreme leader amongst his other students. As you can hear his mom say in the video, which I'm going to show you, Jaden wanted to stand up for his non-racist beliefs. So after he was kicked out of class, he asked his mom to take him to the news station to get the word out. He got the idea from a Tuttle Wins book, or the Turtle Twins. Tuttle Wins. Turtle Twins. They declined an interview. He went there. What rule was he actually breaking? According to the director, this one, see highlight, that it refers to tobacco, alcohol, or weapons? I don't, in what way? Though it's unclear what alleged slavery connections has to do with this. Of course, this is the Harrison School District. I'm sure their Twitter is getting absolutely crushed right now. Um, and it's the Vanguard School, no Twitter account. You see the redheaded libertarian writing, has the self-proclaimed most libertarian governor in America, America, the governor of Colorado, defended this child and disciplined the school for abusing their authority and not knowing their history and humiliating his state? Don't think so. I flew a Gadsden flag outside my house once and my former ultra left-leaning anxiety-ridden neighbor freaked out on me. Good, buy two then. You know, the, the kid is allowed to have, and like, uh, you know, the, the video is, is even more hilarious, which I have keyed up here. Based mom recording. Look at this kid, like well-dressed kid. He's got like a dress shirt on, belt, slacks, got his hair done nice. I bet you that kid slays. Probably gets a lot of, uh, probably gets a ton of handholds. Maybe even some uh, over the shirt, over the bra action. Wait, 12. You're only in fifth grade then, right? Never mind. You're too young for that. Wait, how, what grade are you in when you're 12? Yeah, like fifth grade, maybe? Fifth or sixth? Fifth or sixth grade, maybe? Yeah, full on Sigma Alpha Chad. Like Sigma Alpha Chad. Now wait till you see the you see the the patch in this, by the way. Thank you. I mean the kid's got like I think like a military this kid is like, yeah, full alpha chad. Oh, seventh grade. Okay, yeah. Seventh grade you're getting some over the shirt. Yeah. If you're a seventh grade, yeah. Do they know what the Gadsden flag is? That it's a historical flag. So there. Wait, um, you'll see it here. The reason so he's got like the military rucksack or backpack. Look at the back he's got on here. He's got based. And then he's got a St. Michael, a Doge coin. Um, I, I'm unfamiliar. That's some sort of archangel, right? I'm not, I'm not very familiar, but you're going to see it here. There it is. A very tiny Gadsden flag. And this says J-Rod for VP Revolution. So he's maybe running for some sort of, uh, some sort of uh, local uh, student council or something like that, maybe. It's a nice book bag. He's got based. I like how she can't even look at him. That's the, yeah, this is like Alpha Sigma, Sigma based Chad. And check out those dad new balances. Oh, you can't see him in the video. He's got some super clean new balances on. I love this kid's look. Oh man, this kid's crushing it. Oh, can I, can I show you his new balances there? Look at those things. Those things are clean. I think I have the exact same pair. Like this is a this kid is like uh, full on alpha Chad. With the slavery, slavery and the slave trade, that is what was um, that's the reasoning behind our not slave. The Gadsden flag, the don't tread on me. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm pretty sure slaves would rather people don't tread on them. What? I don't even know what. Which is the Gadsden flag? Okay. 
so he he um he look like, at the kid knows this is the kid knows he's like my mom's about to shred this chick he's what's gonna happen if he doesn't take it off he i mean he is able to go i was actually just telling him like i was upset that he was missing so much school i'm like ah so I asked him, can you just take his stuff out of his bag and go back to class? Like, I just want Oh, yeah, just just let me authoritarian all over you. Just let him, just just comply. You can go back to class. These are the same teachers that were whining when they had to go back to school. Remember, they were all talking about striking because they were going to have to, they reopened the schools. These are the same people that whined when they had to go back to school. Now she's suddenly worried about him missing school because of a tiny patch on his backpack. Which is completely inoffensive. I want him to go back to class. The bag can't go back. It's got a patch on it because we can't have that in and around other kids. So I guarantee you, if that was a pride flag, nobody would care. I guarantee. I guarantee. So that's what I was trying, and then he said you were close. So I was like, oh, okay. yeah, it has nothing to do with slavery. That's the <laughs> war patch that was okay. displayed when they were fighting the British. Like that wasn't. That's the revolution. Maybe you're thinking of like the um, Confederate the, flag. Uh, Confederate our Confederate flag. <laughs> okay, I so. Uh, uh, oh. I am here to enforce the policy that was provided. What's the policy? By the district okay. and definitely you have every right to not agree with it i mean because yeah, yeah, the ACLU says that he's allowed to wear that if you like go on their website yeah it's like says in the big so letters i all I, all i'm saying is that <laughs> unless there's like a ban on patches period like if you said there's no patches allowed at the school you cannot display what you think or anything like that or what cheer or anything like that um i i don't i think it's like one-sided you know, because yeah, it is. Patches, but not other other patches. Kids have patches, like. Yeah, base chat. Other kids have patches. Look at her. Look at her face. She's looking at that kid. She's so angry that this based Chad, twelve-year-old, uh, is absolutely roasting her. Like th this kid, I I don't even know. I mean, like, Sigma male confirmed? I, I don't even... This teacher is seething. She's so angry. Ah, I'm getting torched by a little kid. <laughs> yeah. That look at the look at her face. She's so mad. She's so angry. Oh my god. She's like, why won't this little this little puke just do what I say? Was like flown during the revolution, but um, yeah, I, I just don't understand that at all. So what I can do? Is and if you, you, if you go onto the ACLU's our... website, side, yeah, let's let's talk to. I can, I can have you speak to. I, I can have you speak to our Jeff Yoakum okay. again, okay. Um, and then he can refer you to our person at the district. Okay. Um, because, like I said, we're following district policy. Okay. Is what we're doing. Okay. So. District the last policy. Thing out of class. Yeah, I know. All like, he... District policy. Hmm. He takes his classes seriously, yes. he studies, he, did, he wants to get straight A's, he did that, he made honor roll when he was here before, yeah. he intends to do that again right now, but it's hard because he keeps missing class for this, so. I understand that. J-Rod 2040. You always stick up for your beliefs, and I mean, you're going over the revolution this, for seventh grade, I mean, the founding fathers stood up for what they believed in against unjust laws, this is unjust. I, like I said, we are upholding a policy that was provided to us, which we have to uphold. Okay, can you show me where the policy? Yeah, where, where is the policy? She won't quote the policy. I'm just following orders. Well, whose orders? I don't know. 
I absolutely love it. Shout out to J Rod, J Rod for Dark Mega, uh, <laughs> Dark Mega General 2024. Uh, this kid is a is a you know look. I generally don't like you know when parents include their kids in their own political stuff. This seems pretty harmless, and it's actually proving a, a an extremely important point that we all know that if these were uh, rainbow flags, no one would have said a thing. This woman doesn't even understand what the Gadsden flag stands for. Doesn't care. She just wants them to comply. We've actually got we've actually got a huge update in real time going through uh, the school's Twitter account, uh, seeing it getting absolutely crushed. Now the governor has responded. Colorado governor has responded to the video and sets this teacher straight with a history lesson. Obviously, the Gadsden flag is a proud symbol of the American Revolution and an iconic warning to Britain or any other government not to violate the liberties of Americans. It appears in popular American medallions and challenge coins through today, and Ben Franklin also adopted it to symbolize the union of 13 colonies. It's a great teaching moment for a history lesson. I mean, Jared, Jared, you know, he, 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 um, he has referred to his state as, you know, libertarian. Let's see, has he deleted it? Did he delete it already? Oh no, he, ref he, re he responded here in thread. Cool, you have Wikipedia up. Now look up the functions of a governor and see if you can muster up the courage to challenge the teacher's union. <laughs> I just love it. The teacher just gets double embarrassed. What a great day.